case upon case of shells. These are all wads. And they come in 500 per bag. And I got this whole box and that whole box, the whole other box below it that's a full case. Then you have all these shot shells. Right? Thousands of shot shells. And then you come over here to my workstation, I got thousands of more shot shells. I mean, this whole box is full. And then we get to my reloader. This is a Mech SM82. Single stage reloader. You got shot on the left, powder on the right. Primers here that drop automatically in upon your final crimp to your reloading station. Over here you got a scale so that every five to ten rounds you should probably check it. You check before, during the process, and then after to make sure that your uh, powder count is right. And I've already made up, I don't know, 30 something rounds, 34 rounds. Um, I'm going to show you guys how this is done today. Let me get you set up here. Get you down on here. This is really a simple process when you figure out your recipe. Now, I'm going to tell you guys something. Um, I spent about a month from the time I got this machine studying everything there is to study I read. Uh, shot shell reloading handbooks. There's a recipe. Everything has a recipe. Okay? Just so you know. Um, you have to follow the recipe. You can't make it up as you go. Um, Hodgdon powders, you know, I'm using tight wad. In my talk with Mech, who these guys are very helpful, and Hodgdon, I came up with a load for number four shot, which is what I'm shooting. Chilled Four shot. There's 25 pounds over here of chilled shot. Um, I'm using Hodgdon tight wad reloading, and we got all these are two and three quarter Premier ST Remington Premier STS shot shells. They've all been shot once. You can shoot them again. There's nothing wrong with these hulls. I've checked every one of them. Uh, no cracks. No dimpling. No nothing. Put it. You know. I'm watching the YouTube videos and people are just willy-nilly reloading. They're not telling you anything. They're not telling you that this is probably a very dangerous thing for you guys. If you do the recipe wrong, here's the thing. You're allowed 0.5 grains. 0.5. Not a full grain. 0.5 grains of powder before it comes becomes dangerous. If it's too high, it's very dangerous. You're, you're exceeding your... Uh, pressures in your barrel and everything else. If it's too low, you're going to get er erratic shot patterns and stuff, and it's just not going to work right. So they give you a recipe. Now this one calls for, with this primer, the thousands of wads I got, which these are wind jammer wads. Um, it calls for 16.4 grains of Hodgdon tight wad powder, and then I'm using a one ounce bar. So it's a 302 for single stage reloaders, one ounce. This is the recipe we all came up with. We sat down, we talked about it, 16.4 grains of powder, and I will measure it all out for you guys, just to, so you know. Don't willy-nilly just jump into this. Reloading is very touching. There's guys that say, well, I've been reloading for, you know, dozens of years. Well, that's great. You're, you're an expert. I'm talking about the new guys that get on YouTube and they watch and they go, oh, that looks real easy. I'll get one of the machines, blah, blah, blah. No big deal. This mech uh, reloader is about between 280 and 350 bucks. I don't know. Somewhere in there. Um, then you got bottles. These are about 5 to $10 a piece. Primers are about $5 per hundred. Powder is sixteen dollars a pound, seventeen bucks a pound, and a bag of chilled shot, which is fifty-five dollars for a twenty-five pound bag. Not to mention, you have to have shot shells and wads. Wads are seventeen dollars a bag per hundred count. I think you can get a good 
shot shells for about eight bucks per hundred count. But uh, let me go ahead and walk you through this. This first stage here, right back here, takes out the primer. You know, it's going to knock this out. And then I've already got a primer set up in the next one because as you crimp it over here, another one drops down the tube. So it's ready to go with the primer. Next stage here, you put the shot shell, you, you're going to move it from stage to stage. You drop it down, you push your powder over, you, put a, you lift it up, you put a wad on there, force that down, then you knock it over, you put your shot back in, you move it to pre-crimp, and then crimp. And upon crimp, the next primer drops down in here. So let me just get going on this for you. First stage, knock out the primer. See, the primer's gone. Put it in the second stage. That reseats the primer. The primer's reseated. Drop it down in the next one. Powder's in. Lift up. Put your wad in there. Make sure your wad goes on fairly straight. Back over. Dropped in my shot. Now your shot should be right to the, even with your wad in there. You go pre-crimp, and then crimp. Upon the crimp, I dropped another primer right in here. And that shot shell is done. All right. But nice crimp on the end of it. That one's ready to go. You can get to going pretty fast on these if you, if you really get at it. Um, I just do one up without even talking. Less than what 20 30 seconds to reload a shot shell, it's all done. Uh, if you guys really want to get into it, I suggest that you do your homework, do your research, talk to the people. Guys at Mech are awesome, uh, they will sit there and talk to you. You tell them what you're doing, what you're going for. I could change out my shot load count. I'm doing four right now for pheasants, and it's a little overkill for rabbit. I think six would probably do well for rabbit, it's a little overkill for that, but it's lead. Um, you could go eight, seven and a half, eight dove, six rabbit, uh, four, pretty much any flying bird other than your migratory game birds like ducks and geese. And in this state, you would have to use steel. Not that big of a deal, um, but it is what it is. You can make yourself up a couple hundred rounds, go out there, have some fun doing it, guys. Not really that complicated once you do your research and you do a little bit of practicing on this whole thing and you get your uh, your machine set up right okay that one's done I'm going to do one just to show you that uh, uh, my powder load is correct. That's one of the things that they tell you you should check every about five to ten rounds. Knock out the primer, but you got to put in a primer otherwise something will fall out. Then you can come over here, primer's in, come over here, drop this, put your powder in. And then just take it out. Get our scale up, it's already calibrated. When it zero zeroes out, there we go. Dump your powder in there. Okay, I'm going to show you this. This one's saying right now 16.5 grains. So I got a 0.5 grain, 16.6. .6, okay, and then all you do is take that out. it out and uh, put the powder back in the top here make sure you clean this up because it's gonna show different grains then afterwards drop it on my scale it should zero out 
Oh, I got a point one. So re-zero, recalibrate. There we go. We're zero zero. Yeah, it's recalibrated. Just to clean that out. <laughs> okay, now you got because you've moved it over a stage. You still got to drop your shot in there just before you can get back to redoing what you're doing. Take that out. Put it back in the top. And that's basically all you do to check your, your load. Um, not really that hard. So then I can get right back to it and put it in here. Powder's in. Wad down. Shot over. Right to the top where I want it to be. Great crimp. Crimp. And there you go. I'm a shot shot. Hope you guys learned something on this. Um, get into it. Have a little fun. And uh, always, you can always make up hundreds of rounds. I'm giving, right now, I'm making a uh, box of rounds for a friend of mine who lets me fish his property. He's a really good trapper, hell of a hunter. Um, I'm surprised with a box of number four shot. Y'all have a really nice day. Thanks.